Hi, I'm Scott, the Chief Storyteller here at DroneBlocks, and we're going to chat briefly with Pat Ryan, the author of our latest curriculum. So Pat, why don't you let us know your role as part of DroneBlocks and uh, what we're here to talk about today? So um, by trade, I'm a software engineer, and I'm one of the course content creators at DroneBlocks, focused primarily on the Python courses. But most recently, we created a machine learning course using the Databot 2.0 in Python that we're really excited about. So Pat, what was the inspiration behind creating this course? I guess really the inspiration for the whole thing was um, really sort of driven by our data and tech driven world that we live in. We wanted to create a course that merged machine learning with the hands-on experience of a data bot to help students understand these technologies because putting something in your hand makes it real. And the data bot is just so cool. It's, it's a small device. You can put it in your hand, so many sensors to measure the world around you. Right, and, and once students see what they can do with the data bot, they'll be able to apply this knowledge to just about anything. Exactly, right. So the techniques I, I'm hoping that we are laying out in this course can be applied to a number of different types of problems. So Pat, what excites you the most about this course? To, to me, um, really like some of the most, ex the most exciting part of this course is to be able to take machine learning and apply it to an actual physical device that you can hold in your hand that measures the environment around you. And by taking the sensor value data and training machine learning models, we can then predict in the future what, what the data bot is actually measuring. So for me, um, machine learning is already an exciting topic and we can go ahead and analyze different data sets, which is still very fun to do. But when you can actually do it with the thing you're holding in your hand, that makes it real. And to me, that's the most fun part of it, is, is making machine learning real so that you can actually see it and, and physically um, interact with it. Right, it takes the concept out of the abstract and makes it accessible. So can you give us an overview of what you'll cover in this course? There's a short answer to that and a long answer to that. Um, we cover a, quite a bit of material in the course. And the thing also I'd like to stress is you don't have to have any machine learning background to take this course. We'll take you from the very start all the way through developing machine learning models that run against the data bot. So in this course, the students are gonna be able to apply the machine learning development process to the data that we're pulling off of the data bot sensors. We're gonna train machine learning models against that data. And then we're gonna apply that model to new data that we're reading from the data bot. Very cool. Uh, so would you say, is there any prerequisites to taking this course? Really, the only prerequisite to this course is a good understanding of Python. Some of the techniques and programming techniques that we have to use in Python to do the machine learning models and do some of the visualization might be a little bit more on the intermediate level of Python. So really just a good understanding of Python is really all you need from a technical perspective, but really just a thirst for knowledge will get you almost all the way through. And why is it helpful or important for students to be well-versed in AI or machine learning? So artificial intelligence and more specifically machine learning is really, it's a technique that either is today or will be incorporated into just about every field, science or business. So understanding the problems that can be solved with machine learning will be absolutely vital no matter what field anyone chooses to go into it it will be really important for us to understand it right and once they do understand it we always love to see where the students take it this is just the tip of the iceberg um, and we only go over a couple of projects but there's so many sensors on the data bot that I am super interested to see what students do with machine learning and the data bot. So I hope that this is just a platform for them to get started in their own investigations. Absolutely, thanks so much, Pat. We invite everyone to give a machine learning course a whirl. And as always, we'd love to hear your feedback, your experiences. We can't wait to see what your students do uh, with these new skills. I sincerely hope that when people get started, since you can hold these data bots in your hand, Applying machine learning to something like this 
is super exciting when you get to watch it happen in real time. I, there's no, it, that's a great feeling. So I, I really do believe if people go through it, they are going to be excited to learn the new material and see it actually work um, right in the palm of their hand.